In this educational video, we will look at how to install a field service kit for the Akron Brass Swingout Valve. There are two types of repair kits for heavy duty swingout valves a complete service kit that includes the ball, seats, and o rings, or a basic service kit that includes only the seat and o rings. So, which kit to use? Barring damage to the ball, if the valve seeps and is relatively easy to access for repair, generally the ball will not need to be replaced. If the valve has heavy leakage and or is difficult to access, uh, it may be best to replace the ball. Here is a listing of the individual tools that are required. Alternately, an adjustable wrench can be used to remove the bolts and the threaded trunnion. Because there are several generations of swing-out valves, a simple rule of thumb is that new kits can be used in any generation valve. It is not, however, recommended to use older kits in a new generation valve. Before you begin, if the handle is to be removed, the position of the handle and stop plate should be noted. This valve is a Generation 2 Model 8820 and is what this video is centered on although there will be a few comments about older valves with cast-in stops. The swing-out valve is easy to remove. First, adjust the handle to the open or closed position. Next, loosen the four sets of adapter bolts and then remove three of the four sets and rotate the valve out of line with the waterway. For complete removal of the valve body, the fourth set of bolts can then be removed. Using the appropriate wrench, remove the threaded trunnion from the bottom of the valve. Remove the o-ring from the threaded trunnion. If needed, use fine emery cloth to smooth the trunnion surface. Remove the two seats from the valve body. It may be helpful to partially close the ball for easier removal of the seats. To remove the ball, rotate the handle to the open position and swing the ball out of the valve body. If the stainless steel ball is to be reused, the ball should be washed with soap and water and inspected for minor scratches, which can be lightly sanded with 400 grit sandpaper. If the scratch can be felt by catching a thumbnail in it, the ball should be replaced. There are two ways to access the o-ring around the ball trunnion on the Generation 2 valves. The first method is to remove the entire handle assembly without disassembling it. To do this, use the Allen wrench and remove the four screws holding the cover plate to the valve body. With the screws removed, the entire handle assembly and cover plate can be pulled off of the valve body, exposing the ball trunnion. The second method to remove the ball trunnion requires you to remove the handle bolt and pull off the handle and other assorted parts underneath. After the handle has been removed, the ball trunnion can be pushed down into the valve and removed through the main opening. This method is also required for older valves like the one shown here that do not have a separate cover plate but have the stops cast into the valve body. This also works well for valves with an electric actuator or similar attachment. Remove the o-ring from the ball trunnion. Disassembly of the valve is now complete. Begin valve reassembly by arranging the replacement parts in an orderly fashion. Lubricate the replacement o-rings with Parker O-Lube or similar lubricant. Clean any lubricant off the ball and seats. Lubricant left on these parts will attract debris which could lead to seat damage and eventual leakage. Place the new o-ring on the ball trunnion. If you used option 1 and removed the entire handle assembly, replace it on the valve body and tighten the cover screws. Otherwise, slide the ball trunnion back into position from inside the valve. If you have an older valve with a nylon bushing, place that over the ball trunnion. Now take the wave spring or compression spring and place that over the ball trunnion as well. Next, replace the bearing brake making sure to line the tabs up with the slots in the valve body or cover plate. Reinstall the stop plate and handle assembly, making sure that they are reinstalled in their original positions. Tighten the retaining bolt while ensuring that the tabs on the bearing brake remain aligned with the valve body. To reinstall the ball, rotate the handle to the open position, then line up the slot and insert it over the ball trunnion. 
Install the new O-ring on the threaded trunnion. Screw the threaded trunnion back into the valve body. Do not over tighten. Now press the new seats into the recesses on each side of the valve body. The seat should have a snug fit with the valve body, although some may be looser than others. Now return the valve body to its original location and loosely replace the flange bolts. Close the valve and tighten the flange bolts to the indicated torque spec. Final tighten the bolts in a diagonal pattern. Operate the valve to ensure it opens and closes properly and test it for leaks. You have now completed the installation of a service kit for the Akron Brass Swing Out Valve. To find product flyers, CAD files, specs, and more on individual valves, adapters, and actuators, visit our website at akronbrass.com and search by product name or style number. Additionally, the field service kit link under the Resource Center or our valve guide are both excellent resources for determining which service kits are needed for a given product.